All right, sisters fans, mainly to the Zatima fans. Somebody in the comments on one video said Zach Tima because they like how that sounds <laughs> better than Zatima. But uh, I'm going to stick with Zatima because within the continuity of sisters, that's what Zach called it. Team Zatima. All right, so before moving forward, you know the drill. We have a staggering lack of of subscribers who have actually been watching the content so to the 73 percent of my viewers who actually have not subscribed to my channel yet please change that by hitting subscribe because it will help me get closer to 200,000 subscribers before the end of the year also follow me on social media links are in the description below and click the thumbs up button to show you like the video but this is something that I touched upon in my episode review and it's something that I feel needs to be said. And it's that Zach seems to be pushing a bit too much. I wouldn't say to the same extent as Aaron telling Karen, my mission is to make you love me. Or being as controlling as Gary when it comes to Andy. You know, with Gary just being able to do whatever the hell he wants while expecting Andy to just sit around the apartment all day, you know. So, I think for me, you know, I mentioned this before, I can relate to Zach by, it's the sense of shaping yourself around another person when you really should be focusing more on yourself. And Fatima is really proving how independent she is, not by being stubborn, but by reminding Zach, hey Zach, this is your money, this is your house, you know, this is your car and everything like that. So... It's nice and thoughtful that he would want her input on things, but overall, these are decisions that he needs to be making for himself. I feel like, you know, after he gets the townhouse or wherever he wants to stay, uh, stay set up, how much you want to bet he'll invite Fatima to move in with him. I think that's a dangerous move because even though it's, it's almost as, for as sure as Zach is about Fatima, that's making her even more reluctant to move forward with Zach because she just eased her foot off the brake. Because, like she told Zach in the recent episode, I'm falling for you hard. So, it really isn't good to just free fall because what happens if everything falls apart? She's given up her apartment. She's moved in with Zach. It's almost as if Zach is telling Fatima, hey, take, you know, pack up, move everything you know, and come with me. As opposed to saying, you know what, I got this money. I want to make smart decisions. Let me set myself up, get this residual income coming in. That way, I'm able to support myself. And if the time is right, and if it ever comes, and I find the right woman, I can lock it down. So I think that I'm starting to, and I'm talking all this good stuff now, and who knows, because we know the continuity of these characters' personality quirks can change episode by episode. So who's to say by next episode, Fatima is acting pissy or something like that? I don't know. But I think Zach is at a new level of life, but he still has some of the optimism from when he had nothing which isn't necessarily a bad thing but he doesn't yet realize and he might realize it soon now that he's in a completely different tax bracket there are going to be women coming at him from you know all sides and this is going to be an ultimate test of his loyalty as to whether or not he could remain loyal to Fatima unlike how he was with Karen and I know I know he did do the salon jungle crazy monkey sex with Karen but the argument could be made well technically he never cheated on Fatima because um, they weren't official but then again he was staying with her so that pretty much is a clear sign that even though you're not supposed to eat with a knife you do it anyway because, well, there wasn't a sign that told me not to. And then you cut your mouth. That's kind of like what happened with um, uh, 
Zach having sex with Karen because, yeah, just because you weren't official with Fatima doesn't mean it was the right move to backslide to Karen, you know, because maybe she's pregnant. Who knows? But I feel like Zach needs to kind of slow things down because he's moving fast in life and not to, you know, just constantly throw and have and have not references. But on a different note, remember when um, Candace got those millions of dollars from um, Jim and she bought a couple houses, one for her, one for Benny, bought a tow company for Benny and Benny wanted Hannah to be a part of this life as well, but Candace knew full well Mama doesn't want to be part of this life, but even more than that, she isn't fast enough for the way we're moving, you know, like, or the way I want to move, because Benny, you're a dreamer, but you don't dream big like I do. You want to do, you want to be a tow truck driver and everything, but you don't have that, uh, that, you know, sixth sense, the one that, like, you know, you got to stay one foot in front of the other, uh, you know ahead of the other guy so basically the same could be said about Fatima from Zach's perspective where he's moving way too fast because his life just changed like that he went from barely ha not even having a bank account to opening one depositing almost fifty thousand dollars into it and then from there blowing up like he hit the lottery and now he's able to go from carrying people's luggage from point A to point B to owning properties that he can rent out to other people and that's not to say and zach is um it's almost as if zach fast tracked what fatima did you know she made herself up from i don't really know much about her younger years or whatever but fatima is self-made you know like she is st um you know working hard trying to be a lawyer in the near future that's why she's working at the law firm she helps out with chain breakers her apartment her car she got all this herself so it's obvious that she wouldn't be quick to just say, you know what, Zach, you're right. Let me let me get my stuff, quit this job, let me move in with you. No. So I think that Zach really needs to look at things from Fatima's perspe uh, perspective a lot more. And I feel like Zatima fans should do the same. Like, I'm glad they're taking their time with this because if they instantly put these two together, then what's the point of watching the show? Because you want, it's like Zach and Kelly on um, Saved by the Bell, Corey and Topanga, on Boy Meets World, Dwayne and Whitley in a different world. You have to make their relationships realistic. That's why those are some of the best relationships in television history. Because you saw the ups and downs. They get together. No, one has a crush on the other. Jealous because, um, you know, one of them has a boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever. Um, they get together, but then they break up. They go through trials and errors. They're, they're still friends. And then eventually, maybe they end up getting married someday. But... That's because it's a journey. I mean, looking back, Corey and Topanga is toxic as hell, but it's still a nostalgic uh, relationship. I did, I don't put Will and Lisa on that list mainly because they got cold feet at the altar and then their parents got married, making them um, half-siblings or whatever, and that's just... <laughs> so, I think that when it comes to Zach, he needs to really just kind of slow down because, like, like we've been fearing... We know that Karen wants to have that dinner date or dinner to just talk to him about a few things. I think Zach is going to say no. But then in that trailer where we saw that, did you hear what I said? Yes. She might be saying she's pregnant or something. I don't know. But that could put a halt to everything. Like imagine Fatima quitting her job and packing her apartment. And then where they're halfway moved in together gets the news that my ex is pregnant with my baby. What the? Because it's just like the Bobby Brown story. When um, Bobby and Whitney got engaged and then Bobby tells her my baby mom was pregnant because when they were taking a break from each other or, you know, they had a fight or whatever, they, you know, he hooked up with his baby mama and then she's going to have another baby by him. So it's like, you got another bitch pregnant while you were, uh, you know, you're, I'm pregnant with your baby too and we're engaged. So it could be one of those situations, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because as the hiatus went on, I saw what more people, because that video, which I thought would blow, blow up, which unfortunately never did, is a team of endgame. Um, I did a good job based off a lot of the positive feedback I got breaking the video down. And a lot of people said, you know what, Jeremy, even though Zatima is the reason most people watch Sisters nowadays, they really aren't a healthy couple because aside from just enjoying the sex, what exactly do they do for each other? Like, Zach made it clear what Fatima does for him 
But what exactly does that do to Fatima? The closest thing that we can think of outside of straight up effing each other is she's beginning to once again believe in love and having feelings for somebody else after her heartbreak. But we'll just have to wait and see. But overall, guys, um, that's all I got for this video. You know, is Zach trying too hard? Does he need to slow things down? And uh, let me know what you think. And I know there are some people out there that say, no, he's not trying too hard. He, he wants what we want, which is to get these two together. So that's it. But again, um, let me know your thoughts below. If you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I'll talk to you later.